Hey everybody. Hey, we're just back. we're just having an interesting mm. conversation around optimization of spaces. Mm. I but can't tell you. Let's, let's 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 if we have time to talk about that with people we can. Yes. What is it? Oh, should we ask this question? Uh yeah, is it orange? Yeah. Yeah. Have right. you seen anyone suspicious? Say a woman named Ruby. What? No. No one's suspicious around here. <laughs> I thought you okay. might say something like that. She has not seen her, sir. <laughs> That's because she doesn't That's look true. up from her screen. No, she's not noticed anyone. She hasn't noticed anyone who's not suspicious either. I'm ready now. Let's contact Archer. I don't feel ready, but I'm going to click it anyway. Very good. If you'll help me with some of this equipment, then. Yeah. Back across the water lab. At least we are getting our exercise in today. <laughs> <laughs> I always make sure you're well exercised, Kim. That fire officer. <laughs> and if you'll take that spool of cable, we should be able to move it all in one trip. I feel like we're committing crimes. Ooh. And I'm not sure how Kim would feel about it. He's on board. I think he's um apprehensive. He's Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, yeah. this is so dangerous. What the fuck, you guys? <laughs> That's ice! <laughs> And there's water beneath, beneath it. I thought they were going to move some of the stuff. <gasps> no, that's a wheel. With sparking water wildly. underneath it. This is, oh, <gasps> so beautiful. No. Oh my gosh, you guys. Someone's got to watch this and no one touches it. Someone's going to die. And not from being blasted by the warship. But <laughs> this is going to rug. Embarrassment. Oh no. <gasps> oh. I'm sure it's fine. Oh my gosh! Who's there? That's so... Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! She's gonna electrocute herself. <gasps> and now, if you'll just connect that here. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's mad. It's done. I believe we are ready. Name of science. Let's go. The lieutenant wipes his brow. We're ready to try, at least. Please put on these headphones. What are we gonna ask them? I've configured the channel so that only your microphone is set to broadcast, officer. We'll all be able to listen, but anyone we reach will only hear your voice. We literally don't even know. We, Izza and I, do not know what this is for. No, well, hang on. We, like, we know, we know it's for to. la responsabilité. But what we... So when you say that, friends, what Momo is saying is, like, we don't know what Harry's going to do. Yeah, like, what is he trying to ask? Well, isn't... We don't know what options Sorry. he's going to get. your connection request while I attempt to locate the warship's public frequency. You will likely encounter some interference, but okay. it's important to keep transmitting your request until you're acknowledged. So we're just going to keep Ready? transmitting, Okay. Wait, I'm what not ready. They, what, wait, what if they never acknowledge me? Then it will be exactly like every other moment of every other day. I ask again, are you ready? I just, yes. I just became aware of Suna's outfit and I love it. The 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 red shirt with the blue vest. Oh yeah, and her pants are slightly cropped, like yeah. on the calf, which is quite cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would wear that outfit. Um, yes, you would rock that outfit. <sighs> okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Beginning transmission. We're gonna keep going ah! until they respond. Keep transmitting. A soft rustling between your ears. A winter scale oh, would fall. Didn't think about our outfit. Snow. What's the sound coming from? What well, is the sound coming from? Every light switch, every motor carriage, every doorbell, tea kettle, and radio in Martinez, all mingled with electrical interference caused by scattered thunderstorms I it was us. over ozone. Let's do it. Officer, are you in order? We're waiting for you to start. Oh, let's read our options, eh? Uh, first one is, what should I say? Yeah. Coalition Warship Archer, this is RCM Officer Tequila Sunset, please acknowledge. Coalition Warship, Ar Ar uh, <laughs> Warship Archer, this is De Detective Rafael Ambrosius Costo of the RCM, please acknowledge. And then Coalition Warship Archer, this is Lieutenant Harrier Dubois of the RCM, please acknowledge. I reckon just either... I like the bottom one, just fucking go for it. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Too bad, so say I'm gonna keep You're doing it. You're all alone out there, wandering a blasted heath, calling out to the night. But there is no reply, except for the buzzing 
of invisible machines. Like, like, I, like in terms of the game's logic, my responsibility kind of like came out of the sense of like Harry is been investigating the different political ideologies that are in this place, right? And has come to the realization that everything's a fucking mess. Yes. And someone's got to do something about it. Someone's got to do something about it. And that's where he was like, someone's got to take responsibility. And so I'm interested if he's going to say anything about, like... What the fuck is going on? No one's taking care of this place. Uh. But I'm also like, is he going to talk about the hole in the world? Because that's more interesting to me. Ooh. The lieutenant looks up at you with a nervous glance. Don't worry, Kim. I mean, do be worried. But we're we're going to get fucking blasted by artillery weaponry. Nervous for who, though? I cannot say. Try again, officer. Coalition warship Archer, this is Lieutenant Dubois. Please acknowledge. Perhaps you're simply imagining it, but it seems as though you're learning to pull apart the fibers of this auditory felt. You focus on one strand in particular, one that sounds very nearly human. I love that this is the outfit we're wearing for this. We've got the, the military we boots. We look so sexy. Some <laughs> random pants. I don't even know what those are. We've got a, a kimono, Off the shoulder. a mesh shirt, a bow tie, and a, like, outback Fuck hat. Yes. <gasps> Hello, Archer. Do you acknowledge? Do, can we? Do we know enough French to? Uh, not That's French. German. German. I don't to, know any German. We can't. Something maybe. Canist. Mm. Hmm. Hello, Archer. Do you acknowledge? Marianne, mir erzählt, dass Oscar nicht mehr seit er auf einem Luftschiff aus Graz zurückgekommen ist. Halten ihn die Psychologen für vollkommen normal. I'm gonna Google Translate. I'm gonna fuck a Google Translate up on this. Like usually they do translate things when it's actually important. But I'm curious. And do the one above it as well. Oh. English or Japanese? No. Whoops. Let's go <laughs> German. To English. Come on, give it a go. Uh, the first one said, No, darling, I won't let it happen. How can you send our boy to Vredefort on one of those things? Oh. And then the second part said, Marianne told me that Oscar hasn't been the same since he came back from Grad on an airship. Of course the psychologists think he's completely normal, but the... But she feels like she's been living with a stranger since his return. <gasps> okay, so a couple of things. That, that's, that's super interesting. Oh, so maybe just one thing. You know how when we rang the doorbell and it was an echo, it wasn't a real voice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something about her son going to Vredford Uh, on a aerostatic to see some psychologists. Or maybe it's the psychologists saying it's normal to have feelings for strangers. Foreign languages were never your strong suit. Sooner is this more of that intrapanetic crosstalk? Liebling, bitte. Er ist unser einziges Kind. Darling, please, he's our only child. He can go to the academy next year, too. Okay. Oh, this is so sad. It's very likely, based on what we've recently learned. Give me a moment while I attempt to narrow the receiving mode. In the meantime, you must keep trying. Coalition Warship Archer, this is Lieutenant Dubois. If you're there, Archer, please acknowledge. Again. Coalition Warship Archer, this is Lieutenant Dubois. Do you acknowledge? <gasps> That's Kim? That's Kim. <gasps> we shouldn't be able to hear him. A slight frisson at the point where your neck meets your spine. Something about the lieutenant's words directed at you, but not you. I don't know which one oh, to say. Both of us are stunned. Yeah. Um, 
Kim, don't clog my connection. Is that like, is that his mind? I don't know. We'll get to uh, maybe uh, maybe say the bottom one. It's really coming down now that you mention it. Mention what? It's cold, just like you said. Uh-huh. I didn't say anything, detective. <gasps> We're hearing his mind? He's looking up, isn't he? Or is, is he looking at? I don't know. He is looking up here. Okay, okay. An uncomfortable silence falls over the connection. It's been a long winter. Long and cold. Are you going to tell me you didn't say that either? I promise you I didn't. Even though it certainly sounds like me. The lieutenant seems to wince at the sound of his own voice. I, like, while it's perfectly logical that this is, well, logical in a certain frame of mind, that uh, this is his thoughts right now, but, like, I'm loving the concept until it's proven otherwise that this is from a different point in time. Yes, yeah, I think, I I I actually think that is, has more weight to it because we've already seen that happen Mm. with um, Dorwell, so I feel like that that has more, more weight to it. Um, it's certainly quite freaky. Mm. My other wild, unfounded theory is that, like, it's sprites. <laughs> sprites? Like, like fairies. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> okay, completely yeah, yeah, yeah. unfounded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, They're don't. like, what's it called? Like when a changeling, like, copies yeah, your voice and stuff. Yeah. Uh, could this be more interpenetic crosstalk? Yes. A particularly eerie specimen but still just a harmless piece of the past returning to surface. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. Right. I just wish I could remember what I was talking about. Ooh, it's still pretty spooky. Ooh. The psychologist again, I think. But let's, let's translate. Yeah. Uh, of course psychologists consider him to be completely normal. Maybe we should say, sure, what, what can we do about it? What else is there to do? Keep trying. Okay, you said at the start, we've got to keep trying. <sighs> Coalition Warship Archer, do you acknowledge this is Lieutenant Dubois? But someone has been maintaining it. The wiring <gasps> has been repaired. Ooh, this is spooking me out big time. Dubois, <gasps> please acknowledge. Yes! Archer, this is Lip Lieutenant Dubois. Can you hear me? Liebling, bitte. Er ist unser einziges Kind. I think that's her repeating like that's he's our only child. Yeah, okay. that's exactly it. Nice. Where is Sebastian? Please identify. The signals are Whoa. getting increasingly mixed. Plucking Archer's signal from this will be like isolating a single strand from a tangle of hair. If anybody Whoa. is up to it, it's sooner. I realize that's the wrong way to pronounce her name, but I can't remember what the right way is, so mm. I'm just continuing to say it wrong. Sorry. That's a really work. bad reason. The stock is simply too strong. Sona? Uh, what can we do? I did not expect simply locating the signal to be so difficult. She appears to be concentrating very intently. We must consider several variables. Local anthropogenetic conditions, the sophistication of our transceiver, the quality of our connections, and the physics of our antenna itself. Hmm. Maybe we will end up using that other other antenna that's across the bay. Fortunately, we have a more than adequate transceiver, so I do not believe it is causing any problems. Okay, maybe she would have said something different if we bought the other one? Oh yeah, maybe. And we're also unlikely to change our local anthropogenetic conditions, so the next step is to thoroughly inspect our connections. Yeah, they're dodgy as fuck. How am I supposed to inspect the connections? You need to climb up there and look oh, at them for yourself. We're gonna get electrocuted and die. Yeah, just say before she. She stares at you as if it was obvious. Her hand gestures to the colourful cables dangling from the horse's forehooves. Great. But you don't have the technical expertise. No, we don't. Someone has been maintaining it. <gasps> it no was from the future. Too. You've already teleported up way greater heights. We have. Yeah, we have. Something about this setup seems dimly familiar. Challenging failure. But you'll be damned if you know what you're supposed to do about it. 
Okay. Of your body smashed against the uh, well, we can put on our physical instrument this gear. This is dangerous. Um, can I say, no yeah. problem, I've already mastered the art of teleportation. You actually haven't, but you have proven <laughs> that you are relatively capable. <laughs> but I don't, wanna, don't know what I'm doing. That's true, but I can't leave my station, so it will have to be you. Okay, well, okay. what if I slip and fall? Then you might break your neck. Okay, let's she do doesn't this. care. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna climb the monument. Oh, oh no, it doesn't let me an put option. anything on. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, no. Didn't let me save. Nothing. Cool. Okay, okay. I'm worried. Oh my gosh, this oh, is like scared. Harry's ascension. Harry, hold on tight. Three points of contact, friend. It's his ascension, it's his climbing to glory. I think if he can achieve this, actually, that's okay. That'll be the end. That'll be enough for him. Your gloves give you a solid grip on the metal bar. This feels pleasingly familiar. Oh, I was hoping he'd get all the way up here. Have we been up here while we're being <gasps> smashed at some point? Oh, yeah, I think we have. All right. You don't exactly cut a lithesome figure, but after several moments of scrambling, you managed to hoist yourself atop the monument. Oh my gosh. We are the king of River Shoal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's going to break something. Eh. We are the true king of River Shoal. It is I. Le Cop. <laughs> it's like the sparking on the front hoof there. Yeah, this, yeah. He's not maintaining three points of contact. Absolutely. That performance <gasps> okay. was frankly an embarrassment. No, it was, okay. it was great. Um, I'm not going to say it was pretty bad. I thought we did a great job. Yeah. Excellent. Examine the connections. The connection itself is nothing more than a little braid of exposed wire wrapped about the hoof of the horse. A copper fetter, it cannot slip. Okay. Okay. The whole monument is covered in a thin but durable layer of oil and grime. It's obvious no one has cleaned it in years. Uh-huh. The programmer mentioned ammonia, but anything oh. alcoholic should dissolve. We've got alcohol. We sure do. We bought it. Clearer connection. Pour some alcohol over those connections. It takes a few moments, but the alcohol <gasps> gradually begins to break down the oils surrounding the copper wiring. Yes. Thank you to those out there who said don't sell the alcohol. Yeah. Oh, man, that's so satisfying. Is this really the time, detective? We're not drinking it! It's all right, Lieutenant. He's simply cleaning the connections. Once the oils have been dissolved, you wipe off the connections with your sleeve and reattach the cable. Did that help? Mm, it seems to have made some difference, but unfortunately not enough to alter the overall situation. Okay. The einzige <laughs> I think that's the same thing again. He's our only child. He can go to the academy. Yeah, next year. Okay. Short of changing the shape of the antenna, I'm not sure <gasps> what else it. we can do from here. <gasps> the lorries are all jammed together, so that's unlikely to happen. What would changing the shape of the antenna do? Ideally. Narrow the receiving mode so that we can isolate the warship's signal and eliminate the post talk. And if you don't know what you're doing, of course you could just make it worse. How do we change the shape of the antenna? What do you mean? You adjust the antenna manually with your hand. Is it just the horse's head? I think we're going to take the head off. I'm afraid we're out of alternatives. You're just going to have to go for it. Yeah. She's right. <gasps> The responsibility Ooh. is yours and yours alone. Okay. No Let's have a look around. Okay. Look at Philippe the Third. You are face to face with Philip the Third. The Bronze King looks toward the west. Something about his features seems bizarrely distorted. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, if nothing else, if he was well designed, he would have just been designed for his features to look right from below, not from directly in front of him. So look at the horse. This faithful steed is oh in nearly gosh. as poor a condition 
as its rider. We can't even change our gear. We can't change our gear, no. Um, look up. The sky is grey and overcast. Snow spirals all around you. Through the scrim, you can just make out the shadow of Coalition Warship Archer a few kilometers to the east. Look down. A few of the idle lorry drivers and strike breakers gesture at you with their cigarettes, more out of curiosity than anything else. From the window of one of the adjacent apartment buildings, an older woman leans out, her heavy breasts sagging. I just... Oh, I, like, I really wish we had the opportunity to put this gear on, but sometimes you just don't. Yeah. Yeah. I was distracted by, like, why do ma male writers always feel the need to describe women's boobs? Mm. She yells a single word you can't make out, and then shuts the window <laughs> with a violent thunk. All right. Fuck it. I suspect... Um, this doesn't matter which way it goes. Yeah. Yeah, this is one that you're kind of designed to fail. Let's do it. <sighs> the only way we can win is with double sixes. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oop. <laughs> well. Hope Harry doesn't die. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh. Three points of contact! Ah! Oh, we like killed Kim in the process. Okay, okay, well, it could have been much worse. That help? <laughs> <laughs> Did we fuck it up? I think we fucked you it up. You allow the broken hunk of metal to clatter to the ground. It wasn't clear to you it did anything anyway. Uh huh. Nine, leapling. Okay. What are you doing? The connection is even worse now. This is extremely unprofessional. This piece of junk didn't even work. Yeah. That is because you broke it. Things stop working when you break them. Or did you not know that? It already wasn't working. I mean, it was working a bit, but not properly. She's right. This was your responsibility. Shut up, Ipizzi. We were just trying our best. Damn it. I'm going to push the power supply. I doubt it will last more than a few minutes, so you'd better make them count. Oh, fuck. Okay. A maelstrom of sound, swirling and swirling around an invisible point. She's doing it's this while we're up here? Mounting. Yeah, safe. This is repeat again, isn't it? Uh, yeah, he hasn't been this exchange since he came back on the grad, grad warship. Please yes, hello. It's too much. <gasps> Your air drums are health. throbbing, about to burst. We can do it, pain threshold. A long winter, long and cold. Oh, That's shit. real Kim saying that. And then, nothing. <sighs> Try it now. warship Archer, Archer, <laughs> Battle Havana. This is Lieutenant Harriet Dubois of the RCM. Please acknowledge. Oh, fuck. Let's slow zoom out. This is <gasps> We are acknowledging and accepting you. Though we are still getting quite a bit of interference. We have a picture. Yeah. This is the best we can do. I suggest you get to your business quickly. I doubt I'll be able to maintain even this connection. So we, may, we need to prioritize our questions because we might not this get to them all, right? Yeah. You're yep. finally getting to speak with those who hold real power. I mean... And by that they mean the ones with the guns okay. and the warships. Okay. There is so much you wish you could ask, but you probably only have time for one or two questions. One or two. The signal is lost. Okay, Please let's read them carefully. That you are speaking on a public frequency. What is your request? Okay, so our options are: Who am I speaking with? What does Rivershaw look like from up there? What does the moral intern really want? When is real democracy coming to Rivershaw? Listen, I really need to reach the committee of responsibility. There is no committee. Oh, I'm just like I'm. I'm torn because I don't want to proceed, but I wonder if we lose our chance. Yeah, one or two questions she said. So I'm inclined to just push through. Yeah, but because I don't want to miss out on. I know. 
We're going to miss out on some stuff. We're going to miss out on something. Yeah. To be fair, looking at some of this, like, who am I speaking with? Eh. Not important. Look like from up there, what does a moral intern really want? I mean, I don't think they're going to tell us anything. She just told us it's a public frequency. There's nothing going to be special Yeah. The only question I really want to ask is this one. Uh, yeah. I could ha- happily live without it. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's move progress. On, you're okay. I don't think there is a committee of responsibility. No, so I think you're right. I really need to reach the committee of responsibility. Acknowledge. To reach the committee, all you need to do is fill out the appropriate request form and submit it to the liaison for public affairs. Huh. No. If the liaison accepts <gasps> your request, you will be invited to address oh. the committee at their next quarterly public hearing. We believe the next hearing is scheduled for July. She seems very satisfied by this answer. Actually, I was hoping you could patch me through the committee directly. Or should we just try it? <laughs> so we've got plus two because we're clean and sober. Yeah, well, I, I thought <laughs> very smug and righteous. <laughs> <laughs> we got plus two because we discovered the strange, strange anomaly, but we've got minus one because we have a history of prank calls, minus one for a superstar's ego, and minus one because we won't let the past go. What the fuck is a history of prank calls when we were pranking? I mean, I believe it. We made some phone... Yeah, we did make some phone calls. <laughs> when we got to the payphone, we were like, let's yeah, just try some random that's numbers. true. I reckon we should just go for it, though. Okay. Yeah? All right. This yeah! isn't about you. Double sex! Not really. It may have been at a certain point, but you've let go of that perspective. This is about your responsibility to all of Revachon. Nice. This is amazing. Yeah. This look whole at us standing there on top setup. of the horse. Yeah. Now, take a deep breath. Look upward. You don't have to bear the burden alone. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Listen to me. The situation in Martinez is, is a powder keg. If the coalition doesn't intervene, many people will die. Oh, that's what he was wanting to talk about. Mm. I don't feel like the coalition intervening is going to make anything better. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm clicking on it because it's all I can do. How do you know this? Um, Our options here are, I've uncovered things in the course of my investigation that lead me to believe we're headed to a violent confrontation between the Union and Wild Pines. Yeah. Or we could say things are really bad down here, like really bad. Mm. Or, damn it, there's no time to explain. You better write this down. I like the top one because we've communicated some information to them, even if it's cut off. Yes. Yeah. Lieutenant Dubois. This is a very serious claim. Please describe the situation as succinctly as possible. We will forward your summary to the committee. Will we be able to? There's papers rustling in the background. Oh, it's going to cut us off. It's totally going to cut us off. But at least we gave her a little bit of a summary. There. You've wedged your foot in the door. Now, if you could show the Coalition how much they're needed, Mm. they'll have no choice but to It's interesting that it's an empathy check. Yeah, and also, look at Harry, he's looking up at the sky. I, I just think this is really interesting because I think I think uh, we can see from the real world around us that when all you have to rely on for maintaining order, quote-unquote, is foreign powers, it doesn't work in the long term. It's pretty fucked, yeah. Uh, so I feel like this is doomed to failure, but let's do it for Harry. But they're, they're already maintaining some control over the city by being yeah. them, by a presence there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not that I'm saying that they can like then fix everything. It's just that they're already fucking things up. Yeah. All right. You have the facts. Just lay them out beneath the cold light of reason. Okay. Well, should we say the the, the clean one? Yeah. Wild Pines has recently lost control of a paramilitary death squad called Cronell. Yeah. Please continue. We're listening. You can hear her furiously scribbling notes. Uh, top one. I've uncovered evidence the union may be orchestrating a takeover of the local fishing village. Or well, do we want to say this? The union demands for worker control of corporate boards seems completely unworkable. Like, both of them seem kind of irrelevant in the yeah. context. Oh, you pick one. I, I, I'm happy with either, to be honest. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Which one do you lean towards? Well, I was lean. I see. Yeah, I, I like you. I'm a bit um, torn because you want the reasons why we would tell them about the top one is that it's causing friction, right? But the bottom is also causing friction because it's the implication being like it's completely unworkable. Therefore, they're not they're not actually going to the table to negotiate. Yeah, something's going to happen because of that. Yeah. So that's why I think either of them is fine. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do the bottom one. Okay. Was there anything else the committee should know? Oh, she didn't like yeah, that. She didn't like that. Thank you. Before you answer that, I urge you to weigh your words extremely carefully. The lieutenant is afraid you're going to say something too outre. Hmm. Um. <sighs> <laughs> oh, he's scared we're going to tell them about the pale. But it's true. It's real. I mean, as much as anything is real. But it's real. Do you think that by saying this, though, we'll stop them from intervening? Potentially. Friends, we're both just kind of processing. Uh, I so feel like the top one could be related to Klaja. In the sense that, like, we don't know why she's why he was assassinated. I don't know. I don't but know. I feel like this could mean she doesn't listen to us. Let's do the top one. We want to be listened to, eh? Certainly not the bottom one. Can I click this one? No. I really want to. I know it's going to fuck it up for us, but I think it's important we convey this to us other than these three people. We're afraid. We must ask you to repeat that. Little and the <sighs> oh, uh, afraid? What is she afraid of? Her tone has shifted. She's no longer herself. Ooh. I said I've discovered an intrapanetic phenomenon here in my <gasps> Does, Do they know about it? Maybe. I've discovered an intrapanetic ph phenomenon here in Martinez. Acknowledge. Listen very carefully, Lieutenant. We're going to ask you a series of questions. It is imperative that you answer as directly and truthfully as you can. Nice do you understand? Yes. Good. First question. Are you currently in the vicinity of Seregli, the North Arcade Islands, or near Pale Offshore Platform in Solindico? No. I'm in Martinez. Do they know about pale holes in all of these places? <gasps> no, I'm in Martinez. Very good. Next question. Would you describe the phenomenon as internal to the isola or external to the isola? It's internal. What she means is, actually, you have no idea what those words could mean. In yeah, this case. it's internal because we know the pale is around the isolas, right? Yeah, but what does she mean by the phenomenon being external? What so, could, if what it, could that mean? I think she's trying to say, without saying it, are you just talking about something weird happening in the pale, uh. which they don't care about, or an? Uh, uh, a thing of the pale happening inside the Islas where the pale should not be. I'm happy to go with that interpretation. Yes, internal. Next question. At the time, did you experience sense objects? Ooh, can you elaborate? Can you elaborate? Yes. Examples may include sound, memory, light. <laughs> oh, yes. We experienced nothing, didn't we? Well, I wouldn't say it was a lack of phenomena. It was like it was like that. It was a phenomenon, but but it was it was silence. Mm. I like that option though. This one, yeah. I just don't want her to think that us, it's us saying no to the answer. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, I agree with that. Uh, so we've got it was kind of a it was a kind of gradient. I don't know what that means. Yeah, when I don't know what that means. Either. put the compressor through the other uh, the other thing. It made the beat really hardcore, like too hardcore. <laughs> I mean, that's what did that is what, what did happened. happen. Yeah. yeah. Should we say that? Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's gone. Okay. Final question. Were you alone? No. Yes, unquestionably. Oh. <gasps> yes, only actually alone. we only experienced it, right? Yeah. You are part of a large family. You are never alone. Ooh, I like those different answers. There's no need to overthink this. 
we repeat, were you alone? I'm worried now about this answer. If we say yes, do they just count it as as we're nuts, which we kind of are, but we are telling the truth. Or if we say no, and they're like, we've got to wipe these people out, they know too much. Are they going to wipe us all out? I'm going to say no. Do it. <gasps> ah! You hear the sound of a page <gasps> beeping. Thank you, Susanna. Please stand by while we transmit our summary. If Both this results just... in this whole place getting bombed, I'm going to be really excited. <laughs> excited? <laughs> 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 I'm not sure how much longer I can keep the signal clear, officer. You have to sooner, just a little longer. Lieutenant Dubois. This is Collision Worship Please acknowledge. Atra, I can't hold on much longer. Thank you for standing by. We are authorized to report the Committee of Responsibility for Ravishal has acknowledged and accepted your request. What does that mean? What does that mean? Does it mean they're coming? Are they taking responsibility? Are they taking la responsibility? <laughs> is that what they're doing? Maybe. They would like you to address your matter to the committee that <gasps> as their earliest convenience. How do we get there? <laughs> Um, just tell me where to meet them. Just tell me where to meet them. Remain where you are. Collision Shuttle Laurel is setting a course for your position. <gasps> they will arrive momentarily. What Bye. the fuck? Are we going up there? Stand by. Snow again. It collects between the bronze... They're gonna turn up! <laughs> ...along the front of the bronze king's <laughs> nose and on the backs of your gloves. Holy oh my gosh. shit. So, they're really coming. This is wild. If 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 the, the entire church quest is optional, it is not main quest. Yeah. There are people out there who've played this whole game and never saw this and never did any of this. The lieutenant adjusts his microphone and slowly Theoretically. looks up toward you. People could never learn about the pale. Yeah. Full stop. Yeah. We've had at least one person comment and saying they never learned anything about it. Fuck. What a different game that was for them. Yeah. Well, well, no. What do you, what do you mean? mean? You've accomplished your side task. You've contacted Coalition Warship Archer. I suppose what I'm asking is whether we are about to lose you to the moral intern. Oh. Oh, uh, what does this mean? So the first option is, Kim, have you ever considered that maybe our case isn't that important? Number two is, Kim, I'm tired of feeling like I don't have any normal, responsible options, or reasonable options. And three is, but I'm afraid, Kim. I like all of those for I different like reasons. I like all of those as well. Um, so what I'm worried about is, if we go up there, is that, that's not game over, is it? Surely not. I thought they were just coming down here to talk to us. I don't okay. think we were going up there. So why are we being asked if we were going to be lost to the moral intern? Because I think Kim's like, Harry's stopped caring about the case. Right. He's, he's become so absorbed in politics. I think, I think maybe two or three. Okay, I'm going to go with three then. Okay. Something, everything. A little rhyme jingling in your mind's attic. Mm. Of the future, of the past, of all that is not made to last. Okay, so these are all good options as well. We've got, I feel that something very bad is going to happen. That's what I want to say. Uh, it's my past, it's going to catch up with me. I don't want to say that one. And Kim, <coughs> what, Kim, what if this is all there is? I like one or three. Okay, I feel like something very bad is going to happen because that's what I feel, Momo. The lieutenant takes a moment to compose his thoughts. I don't know where this case will lead us, detective. But in a sense, that doesn't matter. Our job is to follow the evidence where it leads. Consequences be damned. That's a very Kim thing to say, right? Like, he's, he's already talked about how there's a huge psychological toll of being a cop, but he's just like, well, that's part of it. Like, work has to be done. Mm. 
Because that's what it means to be an officer mm, of the RCM. Nice. The lieutenant's final words are nearly swallowed by the roar of the aerostatics main rotors. Oh my gosh. It's shaking, look at the screen, shaking. Ah! We really need to come down from there. Yeah. Lieutenant Dubois, this is Collision Worship Parser. We have been instructed to inform <gasps> that the Laurel arrived at your position. Please acknowledge. Ooh. No shit. How are they supposed to hear your acknowledgement over the thundering of their own rotors? Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Where is it landing? I don't know. Acknowledge, Archer. This is Lieutenant Dubois. Thank you. The Committee of Responsibility for Ravishal has authorized us to offer you an immediate extraction. No! Do you accept? What happens if we go up? Hold on, I have a few questions first. We are far past that point, Lieutenant. There is only one question now. Are you ready? What is happening? I, I say we go. I want to go because I want to know what happens. Yeah, okay, so look around one last time. The roundabout. Martinez North. Daytime. Across the plaza. This can't be the end, right? We've still got to do everything else. Of a chicken wing. The programmer eyes you curiously. We didn't find... She does not understand why you're hesitating. But Kim! We can't leave Whatever Kim behind! Her misgivings about the coalition. The fact is that you've summoned an aerostatic with your voice. An achievement. It's more important that she goes, voice. actually. The lieutenant looks up toward you. He starts Kim. to open his mouth, then appears to be ready of it. I'm not ready. We need to bring him with us. He's spoken his piece, he thinks. It's up to you now. Oh. There is something, a whisper, circulating among the city's footnoted alleyways and along its electrical wires. But what it's saying, you can't tell. So it what seems I... to be a message meant for someone else. Oh, but we, we haven't found all the people we wanted to find and solve the case. This can't be the end, right? I... We haven't been able to save in ages. In ages. I don't want to back up. I would rather... Go have a look at it. Yeah. And if that's the end of the game, then pick up where we left off. Like, pick yeah. up at the last yes. save in, the, in I, the next episode. I accept! Acknowledge. Laurel has initiated the extraction procedure. Stand by. Oh my gosh. Continue, continue! Marianne no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I didn't get it in we time. It's the same one. No answers <gasps> about the <extract. gasps> The condition and whereabouts of an RCM officer extracted by a coalition aerostatic two weeks ago remain unknown. The dramatic maneuver witnessed by dozens near the North Roundabout has reportedly increased tensions between the citizens of Martinez, the RCM, and coalition authorities. Early reports that the lieutenant was investigating entrepreneurial phenomena along the coast have not been confirmed. According to an official statement given by the RCM, the lieutenant was in Martinez as part of a murder investigation. A coalition representative declined repeated requests for comment. They fucking disappeared us, is it? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no. Oh, oh no! no! Oh my gosh. Where does that take us? Where's that most recent? That's ages, that's ages ago. Surely I saved all... after that. Did you not save in between? I'm sure you did. I could swear that I did. Maybe I didn't. Oh no. Oh fuck. And wow. I was saving so aggressively that whole episode and then I fucking fucked up at the end? Oh no. All right, team, we're going to, we got, and it didn't even auto save, like, anywhere. 7.30? We've been, it's 9 p.m. Why didn't it save? Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're going to go back. We will, friends, basically what we'll do is we'll leave it here, and the next episode. No, we'll we're going to do it now. No, because we have to replay a bunch. Off, and I would suggest we do that off camera. But different things may happen. The dice may go differently. Yeah, but we can show people that if that We're going to speed through it. I... Mum is giving me a look. This right. is giving me a look. Yeah. Is this after or before we talk to Everett? I think before. I think it's before too. Mm. 
Um, for bits that are all the same, we're gonna we're gonna like make it super fast. We'll just skip it for you guys. But okay, thank you. Yes, we. Um, I thought you were trying to tell me that we we're gonna stop recording Mr. and no. do it another day, and I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> no, I was like, I don't want people to have to sit through all of that again. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Okay, what did we do? What was the order? With a gun. Do we want to change our clothes? Oh yeah, we do. Um, uh, it was interfacing. It was interfacing, yeah. correct? Yeah. Interfacing mm. and um, empathy. And empathy. Good remembering. Um, do we have to get out of the conversation? Yes, thank you. Sorry. Um, okay, okay, okay. Now we know the the gloves. The yellow ones, eh? The other oh, ones. there's better ones. The white ones. Yeah. These ones have two interfacing on them. Okay, and so we'll look just... for empathy as well while we're working our way through. But I mean, there were all sorts of checks ones. in there. We went there. You yeah, know, I think those were... are the most important ones, though. I mean, there was some physical stuff, but I think we got up there regardless. So um... I kind of feel like they. Um... They did some of that on purpose. Mm. I might put that on because the drama wasn't important during that conversation. Pain threshold came up. Oh yeah, but we made it through there. I mean, we got heaps of health. We do. It's, right. I was just gonna say, it depends what it's replacing as all. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it would be replacing the thing I just put on, which gave us an empire. So okay. Much of a muchness, but. Um, what are we looking for? Empathy? Empathy. Instead of, okay, yep, yep. I love those itchy pants. Yeah. Oh yeah, empathy, what have we, yep, okay. What's our hat got on it? Encyclopedia. Mm. I don't think there were any authority checks what in the mix of What is that hat it. though? That, what is, what is that? The name That's of the hat? That's our just... hat. That's our cop oh. hat. So daggy. Yeah, it really doesn't suit us very much, does it? <laughs> okay. It looks good to me in terms of an out. Well, I mean, yeah. 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 There's <laughs> nothing with minuses on it, eh? I don't believe. Oh, I think we changed it. Save my fear. Is that just because there's minus one to logic on the glasses? But plus empathy. So that's what we're going for. Okay. All right. So now let's. Wait, save, 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 save. Just because we've changed your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope. Yes. What is it? Very uh, good. Back I kind of feel like that situation that was, officer was and designed if you take that spool of cable, so that you wouldn't we change be anything. Able to so move it's it just like it's just raw. Mm. It's chaos. You can't control anything that's happening here. Mm. Can I skip this? No. <sighs> Fuck. Oh. We'll try and do the same, so, except for the very There was really end. only one check in there, and it was godly, and like the likelihood of us getting it is super, super low. So we'll just do the same? Yeah. And just not go up, essentially, right? Well, yeah. Maybe we could try and yeah, do Yeah, yeah, because we could have backed out, right? Mm -hmm. So we can back out. We'll do the back out, right? Yeah. Maybe they'll blow us up. Ah. Uh -huh. I still can't believe they fucking disappeared us. And now if it's done. We're ready to try at least. Please put on these headphones. There should be two. You will need to transmit your connection. Okay. I love that well, nobody I warned us about this. No, and they should get that. in there. I'm wait. So happy. Wait, what, what if they never got me? Then it will be exactly too late. Oh, oh, I clicked the wrong thing by accident. Rustling. The snow seems to have gotten between you. Every life. Officer? Yeah, it means that we were we came into it raw, right? Which we're is nice. for you to Yeah. Dangerous. I think we said this you first. Actually haven't. But you and have proof. <laughs> and then we said true. this. But I can't what if I said you might fall. break your neck. But okay. Kim, and I just want to say, like, fan ourselves because Kim thinks we're a capable climber. Yeah. That yeah. is a flex. All right, team, I'm bringing you back here because we're climbing up. We're wearing a different outfit. 
We went for empathy and interfacing. I think really only the gloves have, gloves have interfacing, eh? Yeah. And we, we put on a couple of different things to try and give us little boosts here and there. I don't think it really matters. I mean, we don't look anyway. nearly as wonderful as, no, we, as we did the first time. So we can consider that the true playthrough. Your gloves give you a solid grip on the metal bar. <laughs> you don't exactly cut a lithesome figure, but after several moments of scrambling, you manage to hoist yourself atop the monument. Which is interesting because we thought we, like we thought there was a possibility of failing and splashing on the concrete, and it doesn't seem that, that didn't there was. even come up, right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm so stressed out. Hey, maybe we'll roll the double sixes and maybe uh, we will. And then we could ask that all those performance questions. Was frankly, the connection is the whole mo the programmer mentioned. Some alcohol. It takes a few. Is this really? The Once the oil. What the hell? Short of changing the shape of the antenna, I'm not sure what else we can do. Ideally, what do you mean? She's right. All right, then we're gonna look at everything around. This faithful, the sky through the scrim. A okay. few of she so yells a single word. I mean, it's higher. Think. It's higher than it was. It's still fucking terrible, but thunk. if we get a five, we we. You know, like a, a six and a five, we could get there. Mm. Possibly we even get it on two fives, I'm not sure. <gasps> Holy shit, you guys. I didn't expect that. Holy shit. Holy shit. How is this going to change things? <gasps> It'll mean we can ask all the questions. <gasps> and we should. I 100% want to. We're here now. Oh my gosh. I heard it. Don't. Maybe it always falls off. I don't know. Okay. Your grip is firm, yet controlled. Fuck yeah. The swelling in your headset guides your hands as much as your hands guide the bronze horse head. Oh my god. It's gosh. almost like you're hearing through the horse. <gasps> wow. That's very good. Just a bit more to the left. Okay. Nine leaping. The signal is clear. The storm has passed. This is another voice, a live voice, on the other end of this invisible bridge you've established. Can we talk to the German person? Right now, officer. Gollish, Archer, this is Lieutenant Dubois of the ICM. Please acknowledge. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Holy shit, I did not anticipate Neither that. Neither did I. I kind of was like, we're going to put on all the stuff and it's going to make no difference and then we'll feel good about the fact that it, like, it didn't, didn't matter. It didn't make any difference. And I, I, mean, I was hopeful, of course, but I didn't really think it would make a difference. This is such a weird, you know, it's kind of like a nun. Oh, that's an interesting interpretation. Okay. This is it. You're finally getting to speak with those who hold real power. Nice. And by that they mean the ones with the there is so much you wish you could ask. Your efforts have bought you some time. So this is something but different. But you can't forget what you're really here for. But yes, Please let's ask. be advised that you're speaking on a public frequency. What is your request? Who am I speaking with? Should we just ask everything? Let's try. You are currently speaking with Coalition Worthy Parcer, flagship of Insurcom Forces in Revachon. Are you the captain? No. The captain of the Archer is deeply classified intelligence. We are the second signaler. Sure, but who are you? I need to know your name. Our name is not important. All you need to know is that we hold the position of second signaler aboard the Archer. Huh. Mm. You really don't have the faintest guess what her name could be. That's you okay. never very good at this sort of She's thing. She's a stranger. You don't need to There's know her name. There's something in the way she refers to herself always with the first person plural a deliberate blurring of the boundary between herself and the institution she represents mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not to mention the airborne artillery platform she works on her every word is backed up by the most powerful ordinance available no just one thing why do you refer to yourself with the plural because it's standard practice for signalers to use the pluralis officialis during the course of our duties it's meant to serve as a reminder that we don't speak only for ourselves. Mm. For instance, as second signaler, 
we represent collision more sipasa, which in turn represents insurcom and the collision more generally, which in turn represents the Moralist International, which itself represents the interests of 1.2 billion people across the world. Mm. Meaning, she's the voice of all those living souls. I like one or three. I like one. So okay. when I'm talking to you, it's like I'm talking to all of humanity? No, of course not. There are many nations outside the moral interest umbrella. In Seoul, Samara, and elsewhere. At most, you might say the moral inter represents between a quarter and a third of humanity. <laughs> so I'm talking to a quarter or a third of humanity. Perhaps you could say that we represent the interests and hopes of a great many people. But you could say, just as easily, that we are the assistant to the secretary of a factotum. No more remarkable than the lowest cashier of a common fleet. I don't think that many people would agree with you, lady, but... It all depends on your perspective. Who... yeah. It's the factotum. Why? The archer itself. Okay. But now, we've wandered quite far afield. What was your request? What does Rivershaw look like from up there? Mm, that's difficult to say. We have a very particular view from our observation platform up here. Particular how? Perhaps the best way to describe it, it is to say we have a very wide perspective, but not an especially detailed one. What this is so wild, see? getting all this extra information. What can you say? Oh, it looks quite lovely from here. From our portal, we see rolling hillsides covered with snow, a public park filled with grand oak trees, men and women going about on horses. Mm, it doesn't look like they're here. Oh, there are children building a snowman by a small pond. The homes and gardens are quite beautiful, very near, like those in certain areas of Messina. You know. Can I say this? Yeah, I don't see any of that stuff. Perhaps you are in a different part of the city? We've only recently been detailed to the archer, so we are still learning the names of all the many districts. She needs to see you down here. That's the only way she'll really get what you're about. Can you see Martinez from here? Martinez, Martinez. That is to the west, yes? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Fuck. I thought it was to the south. Okay, go with your honey. But I also feel like across the river Esperance was something that people have said. I made a face. I have no idea. I'm clicking it. Stand by a moment. We oh. are adjusting our viewfinder. Oi. Yes, we are looking at the river now. There are small islands in the middle of it. It's very nice, actually. Interesting. The west of the city looks very different from the east. There's a large motorway dividing it nearly in half. This must be the 881, no? I have no idea. I'm just saying this one because it feels like Harry knows what he's talking about. All right. Exactly. Follow that west for a few kilometers until you see the lake. Very well. Now... We're looking at an area that seems to be in urgent need of revitalization. Yes. Now we see the lake, and around that, a rather vibrant-looking city quarter. There are some large buildings from the okay. turn of the century. Who he recognizes that. That's good. Yes. This must be the heart of the district. That's Jamrock. Now look to the north, towards the harbor. Mm. Ah. So that is Martinez. What do you say? Oh, well, we see the many... Mm, Historic buildings, of course. And the snow gathering along the rim of the bay. The old and irregular streets, like a grid drawn by a palsied hand. Suddenly the snow the just open stopped. fires burning in oil drums, visible through blasted roofs. There are also a number of seabirds looping and twisting in the wind below us. No horses, though. And of course, we can see some people, but they... Oh, how to say it? Look like a bunch of lost souls wandering about in dis indescribable pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We really couldn't say. That's one of the limits of this vantage. But the whole district does have a very desperate character. Mm. And then there's all the tear line about. It's very unpleasant to look at. We're going to widen our viewfinder a bit. Hmm. I guess I should install some recycling bins or something. Yes, recycling is very important. The coalition always supports initiatives that promote civic responsibility and mindfulness. Okay. On the other hand, it gets us 10 cents a pop. Do you see a roundabout with an equestrian statue? A roundabout? 
around about. Uh huh. Yes, we see the monument. <gasps> Wave a uh, hand. There seems to be a man on top of it. It's me. That's you. We have to say that's extremely irregular, Lieutenant. What are you doing on top of the public monument? <gasps> I love option three. I'm singing the song of annihilation. I love option one. Oh. Arta Martinez is a disco town. Okay. How interesting. In Messina, disco has been extinct for more than a decade. Funny how the past always is more present in some parts of the world. Extinct in any event, is an it word. is certainly mm -hmm. interesting to see you, even from afar. Most of the time, we signalers just have to imagine what our interlocutors look like. Liebling, bitte. Er ist unser einziges Kind. Ugh. I presume this is going to be just a repeat of something, but mm. let's just double check. Yeah, again, it's darling, please. It's our only child. Time is running short, officer. I am have time for maybe two more questions. Oh shit! Come again. Let's go to the We're bottom. We're up more interference. Well, unless this is two more questions and this is just the whole thing. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. All right, fuck it. Like we know what happens if let's we push on. Let's just say, let's say this one and yeah. not this one. Yeah, all right. When is real democ When is real democracy coming to real show? We can assure you, it is coming as soon as possible. Within my lifetime. Love it. Oh, most likely. Though, of course, it depends on the contingencies. What the do you con mean by contingencies? You must understand, the Moral Intern is responsible for ensuring the continuance and flourishing of mankind for the next three thousand years. The planning division must account for a great many possible outcomes and chances. Mm. <sighs> That's a whole great way to never get anything done. Fortunately, we have contingency spreads to help guide our decision making. Also, I don't know if I want some weird ship in the sky deciding that in like, my future like that. Yeah! I don't know. Of course, there is no one spread that can reasonably account for all this Exactly! You but just have to put things in place. To for the most likely eventualities. You, yeah. Also, you need to just like put good government in place that can adapt. Right. You, you don't can't know, prepare yeah. for everything. That's right. It feels all like it's taking away some agency from people in the future. Yeah. Wait. Um, I was just going to say it's like in D and D. Like if you try and plan too much, then you just spend like hours and hours planning and then nothing goes the way you expect it to. In the last episode of D&D I was playing with my friends, so in my other game I'm mm. playing a reasonably responsible character but mm. in this game I'm playing like a total airhead mm -hmm. and like everyone was trying to plan it but nobody ha really had any good ideas so I was just like I'm going in! <laughs> Leroy Jenkins did it? Right. Totally Leroy Jenkins did and everyone was like what? <laughs> this is, what is Leroy doing? And it turned out Fuck me! I just, it's just me today. I'm just, I'm just in a, I'm just in a, knocking everything off. Uh, I'm in an active mood. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, um, nobody died. I want to ask the top one. Wait, I did uh, have to leave my in-game baby with a sex worker <sighs> for three hours. Just they were your, great. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. But also, just like leaving your in-game. Say, was was the sex worker a stranger? Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, turned out all right. Sometimes you've just got to leave your baby with a stranger and go kill some bandits. I was like, I don't think this person's profession matters. It's the fact that they're a stranger. Well, I was almost more trusting of them because they were a sex worker. Mm. If that makes any sense at all. Anyway. Wait, how um, do these contingency spreads actually work? It's not really our area of expertise, but we can try to explain. Picture a smooth hill made from fresh dirt. Now, if you stand atop this hill and put a glass of water over it, what will happen? The water runs downhill? Do it get sweet? All of them are true. All of them are true. Precisamente. We know only that it will run down but not what course it will take. If we place a rock in the water's path, will it divert to the left or to the right? We cannot say, but we may predict which way it might run in either event. That is the essence of the idea. You might also imagine these spreads as a kind of tree, with every juncture representing a different event, and every branch representing a different timeline. 
You're saying the moral intern uses contingency spreads to see the future? Not exactly. No one can know the future. But with contingency spreads, it is possible to predict what the future realities might reasonably look like. Mm. But we shouldn't overstate their importance. They are simply one of many tools used by the moral intern to set policy. Okay. So where does Ribeshoff fit into these contingencies? That's impossible to say. It may be that Ravishal has a great role to play, or no role at all. That is the nature of contingency. It's kind of like she's describing how you map out, like, game... Mm, branching. Branching, mm. yeah. Um, it's, this is really interesting to me, because the first time we went through it, it felt very kind of spoopy and scary mm. and, like urgent and now it's feeling like we're having this really dry conversation with this person right and i like it shit. like but i like her the but it's just like representative say that river show would resolve history hmm. you must understand when we speak of contingency spreads we are talking about the most fantastically complex data visualization human beings are capable of producing with thousands of events from elections and wars to natural disaster or scientific miracles and millions of possible outcomes. Why? Why are you doing this? How? What? What is doing this supposed to achieve in terms of setting up democracy in this country? Well, uh, so she didn't say it was setting up democracy. This was for um, achieving the like continuation of people for 3,000 years. Yeah, but we were asking her... When is democracy coming? And, and she, she was said, like, it depends on the contingency. Yes. So they're doing this contingency exercise. Yeah, and then we dug more into the contingencies as opposed to how it's specifically related to... How I've interpreted this conversation uh, is they're doing this mapping exercise yeah. to help them decide how and when they're bringing democracy to okay. Rebichol. How I've interpreted this is they are doing the mapping exercise regardless because they are doing it for wh however they framed it around humanity for the next 3,000 years and of that this is one tiny data point mm. of which things could go many different ways because they were saying there are like millions of possible outcomes therefore they couldn't say mm. that's how I interpreted it. Okay. Ugh. It makes <laughs> your brain swell just to think about it. That's fair. It may be the case that under certain scenarios, Revachal is vitally important, as it was during the collision landings in OA. It may also be the case, in many other equally plausible scenarios, that Revachal is simply another once great city, like countless others throughout history. Uh, either one or three. Okay, I'm going to say this one. Rivershoal was founded to resolve history. It's the most important city in the world. Perhaps, perhaps not. The world is full of great cities that have resolved the questions of their time. La Chert, Bradford, our own home of Adversterasche. Oh, that's the same place that German people are talking about. It's even possible the cities that will resolve the questions of the future have not been founded yet. Mm, that's fair. For this reason... Responsibility for developing contingency spreads is only assigned to highly trained analysts working with advanced radio computers and a steady supply of drones. Huh. <laughs> um, okay. But I still want to know when real democracy is coming. Of course. While the content of individual contingency spreads is deeply classified, many degrees beyond our access, everything we have heard from the Provisional Commission indicates that the transition is proceeding according to the appropriate timetable. What is the appropriate timetable? Why, how is the top response applicable? Transition, right, so they're saying it's kind of here already? I interpret this as, as Harry interpreting what she's saying as being kind of like, the, the ball is already rolling. So do we kind of have a version of it? What's happening? But can we say this one? What yeah. if some people want democracy to come faster? Of course. The coalition supports the Revachalian people's desire for full democracy. We encourage you to contact the offices of the Provisional Commission if you're serious about getting a vote. What if I want real democracy, like, right now? Well, well, that isn't very realistic, is it? Real democracy doesn't just happen. 
It requires the support of a great number of stable, interlocking institutions. That is the only way to channel popular sentiment into a legitimate mandate to govern. Otherwise, what are we left with? Mob rule? I mean, either. Exactamente. But the Commission's hard and diligent work may soon be bearing fruit. Revachon is nearly ready to begin the first phase of democratization. What does that mean? Soon, the people of Revachon will vote for slates of candidates who will make up the Transitional Advisory Council that will oversee the second phase of democratization. No, so, okay, so you may, tell me what you're thinking and I'll tell you what I'm thinking. You tell me what you're thinking. Okay, to me it sounds like a committee for a committee for a committee for a committee for a committee and not actually ever taking any action. To me, like it's kind of what you've already said about like it feels like it's being done to, not done with. Mm. And and any kind of government that's done to doesn't work. Mm. Not long term. Mm. I mean, it's a wide... In, in, in generalised statement, but I think it's generally true. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't disagree, but I'm not like I feel like I need to give that one more thought. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah. it doesn't like it when people make generalisations in her presence, uh, her an automatic instinct is to pick holes in it, <laughs> which I'm isn't sorry. a bad, which isn't a bad way to live your life. <laughs> Damn. Um, <laughs> Uh, what is this transitional advisory council? Oh, maybe who picks the slates of candidates? Yeah, I like that. In most cases, the provisional council selects them from a cross-section of the local population to ensure the slates actually reflect the people they represent. I wonder if... Mm. I bet Everett knows about this. Maybe. Of course, such a situation is not ideal. We would all prefer for the Vachalians to nominate the representatives directly. But that is why it's a transitional council. So what's this transitional advisory council? The council is modeled after similar bodies developed in a number of transitional democracies. Its role is to devise and shape the future institutions of Revachalian democracy, according to local conditions. Fuck that, like, I'm, I'm out, like, my brain is not paying attention to what she's saying anymore. Okay, well... Do I'm not out in terms of gameplay. I'm just like, my, that's just like gobbledygook at this point. They're just saying that they're mapping out what Revachon needs. Local conditions, in this case, referring to incompetence, graft, hmm. and violence. Once elected, council members will even have the opportunity to join one of several officially sanctioned political Oh, parties, great, they're sanctioned. Depending on their ideological beliefs and policy preferences. It's great. Like, you, you, your, your politics are decided for you and you get to pick one of three options before you start. Yeah, that's weird. That's super weird. What do these wings represent? A very important question. The wings are carefully selected to represent a wide spectrum of political thought. Do they though? Typically, there's a liberal technocratic wing, a social democratic wing, and even a conservative populist wing. You wouldn't believe some of the ideas they express, but a vibrant and free political culture requires that all perspectives be given voice, even those many may find objectionable. I do find, like, the way that, like, conservatives and liberal, which are only two of, of as they've said, many different elements, but they're kind of two of the strongest voices in our society at this point in, in time, um, I do find it really interesting how even in profoundly different cultures, they are echoed. Um, you know, like how like a conservative American and a conservative person from Afghanistan, like they think that they hold profoundly different base values, but a lot of them are actually very, very similar. What makes you say that? Well, you think about things like the control of women, like um, being pro um, pro government control, um, being pro the police. I was gonna say some of them are anti government control, though. Some of them are. Mm. Some of them are. Mm -mm. Sorry. Um, I'm not saying they're all the same. I'm just saying it's really interesting the things that are echoed even in really different cultures. Um, they're often like like anti 
the intelligentsia, like pro burning books or or banning books. Um, yeah, and I I just think it's really interesting. Hmm. Hmm. This is pondering. I am pondering. Um, I'm pondering about the cross-cultural stuff and... Uh, no, I need to give that more thought. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I, I wasn't necessarily saying anything by it, and I was just saying, I just think it's really interesting. Hmm. Um, I think a lot of it's about control. Um, hmm. and it's interesting that some that 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 somebody, at least the people who are writing this this game, think that that's common enough that they could come into a a, a place that has a whole different set of people to where the moral intern people because they've come from all over the place, right? Mm. That they would be like, we we expect for people to have sets of beliefs that fall into these broad categories. Mm. So we're going to pre-set up these broad categories because we're so expectant that people are going to have this set of beliefs. It feels very ethnocentric, no right? It does. And it also feels very stifled in terms of like human development, right? Mm. Like, why should we follow the same political patterns for eternity like yeah because we conceptualize we conceptualize things we've always done it's very difficult to think of radically different things or possibly exactly. yeah and i know they've done their whole modeling etc cetera, etc cetera, but yeah yeah and you think about like indigenous models of governance and how they are often starkly different to Western models of governance, mm. and you kind of like that has no representation here. Yeah, like that that concept that we already have all the ideas about how politics are going to work, and they're going to be the same ideas for eternity is so fucking wild. Yeah, and so disconnected from from yeah, like di like different cultural frameworks of thinking mm. and thinking about community. Arg. Okay, how many of these phases until we have real democracy? Our best theoreticians believe that three to five phases are <sighs> appropriate for states that lack strong democratic tradition, which would certainly apply to Rebachel. What did I say about a committee for a committee for a committee mm -hmm. for a committee? Yeah. But we must stress that real democracy is an ongoing process and not simply an outcome. It must be cultivated and preserved if it is to endure. I feel like she would, she would do well talking to... Um, What's his name? The guy, the politician guy that yeah. we met. Officer, I've held the signal <gasps> open as long as I can. Whatever you came here to ask, ask it now. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Right? All right. I need to meet, re reach the committee. To reach the committee. Oh, if the liaison accepts your request, you will be invited to address Wait, the committee we went at the... their next quarterly public hearing. We can either just go for it, but we, we actually see number two. the next hearing is scheduled for July. No, we didn't. We went with this one. Uh, did we go straight for it? We didn't we say did. you could patch us through No, directly. we didn't. Okay, let's go. This yeah. isn't about okay. you. Cool. Not really. It now. Take a deep breath. Look upward. How to kick. kick. What? How do you know this? Uh, we were at the top one? Yeah. Yeah. Lieutenant Dubois. There's papers right there. You have the facts. Just lay them out top beneath one? the cold light of reason. Please continue. We're listening. Let's have the top one. Okay, you wouldn't me to say the top one? Yeah. All right, because she didn't like this one, so no, let's see how don't. she responds to this. I've also uncovered evidence that the union may also be orchestrating a takeover of a local fishing village. We have it. Is there anything else the committee should know? Thank you. Before you answer that, I okay. have... The lieutenant is afraid you're going to say something too... All right, there you go. Fair. We're going to say this again? Sure. Entrepreneurial phenomenon. We're afraid. We must ask you to repeat that, Lieutenant Dubois. Uh, uh, afraid? Her tone has shifted. She's no longer. Shall herself. I say this this time? Yeah. Wait. What's what go what's going on? Never mind that. All you need to do is repeat what you just said. This she is... knows. We're going what to disappear says, you if you say it again. There's no other option. Oh, no, there we go. Oh. I discovered an entrepreneurial failure here in Martinez. Listen very carefully. Good. Oops, sorry. First question. 
Are you currently in the vicinity of Seregli, the North Arcade Islands? No, or I'm near Taylor? Nice. Very good. What she means is it's internal. Are those places yeah. where you're allowed to be researching it? I, I don't know. Like I really want to click on them, like, but also I felt like we. Uh, um, do we say it was a kind of gradient? Is that what we, we said? No, so that one. one. Okay, yeah. But she, she, I don't think she was particularly impressed by that. That's fine. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's go. Final question. Yes. Are you alone? You are part. There's we no said need no. to overthink this. We repeat. Were you alone? I'm going to say no. You hear the sound. Because it didn't kill Liam last rhythm. time. Thank you, Lizanne. Not that we know. I'm not sure how much longer I can keep the signal clear of Just the a little longer. Lieutenant Dubois, this it's is Collision one. Worship Arthur. Please Can't hold on much for longer. I would like you to address your matter to the committee directly. Tell me where? We said that, but we can. Could go. we say that? Yeah, let's say that. I'm in the, middle of, the, I'm in the middle of a murder investigation. Local matters can wait. Collision Chateau Laurel is set in a course okay. for your position. They will arrive momentarily. It's going to really annoy me if we can't back out and it's just like you're gone no matter what. To the southwest, one of the smaller aerostatics that hover above the city breaks from its holding pattern. Coalition Shuttle Laurel begins executing a slow turn, drawn by an invisible wire. Oh, I'm scared! So, they're really coming. The lieutenant adjusts his microphone and slowly looks up toward you. Well, what now? What do you mean? You've accomplished your side task. You've contacted Coalition Warship Archer. It's whether we are about to lose you to the moral intern. I'm afraid, you said. Should I say that or should I say this? I did like what he said. Yeah, I go with the bottom one. I like it. A little rhyme jingling in mm. your mind's attic. Feel like something really the bad is gonna takes a moment. I don't know where this case because that's what it means to be an officer of the RCM. Okay. The lieutenant's final words are nearly swallowed by the roar of the aerostatic's main rotors. Lieutenant Dubois, this is collision worship. No shit. Thank you. The committee no. of responsibility for Ravishow has authorized Fuck us off. to offer you an immediate extraction. I can't do it. Back out. I can't do it. Back out. Repeat that, Lieutenant. What do you mean you can't? <gasps> it's my cam. It's my cam. <laughs> it's my cam. It's my cam. I can't abandon him. We have to say, this is extremely disappointing to hear, Lieutenant. You're the one who sent a fucking thing down before asking us if we wanted to go. What the consequences will be for your refusal to accept responsibility, we cannot say. For your sake, we pray they are not more than we all can bear. Okay. What does that mean? <gasps> Fuck, we're safe. And now we are updating our frequencies. We will not speak again. This connection will be cleared in four, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, Acha. Two, one. Après le monde, le gris. What did she say? After the something, the grey. Mm. And. The line goes quiet. Monde. Après le monde. Oh, I'm sure we've heard this phrase before. Almost soon. After the world, the grey, the, the pale. We've the heard that before. The lieutenant gives a long sigh as he removes his headphones. Après There's le relief le on his face as he turns toward you. After the world, the grey. I feel like in the context of that... She's like, the pail is going to swallow up. Yeah, because like, are we, we're thinking in French, Le Gris is, is the pail, right? Yeah. Okay. There's relief in his face as he, he turns, turns towards you. I think it's best for you to climb off the statue. Wow. The real work is done here. Just give me a minute. Yeah, just give me a minute to process. There's a lot the to process. bronze tingles beneath your fingertips and between your thighs. Your legs have grown stiff. You've been up here quite a while. Hmm. Sometimes I feel like the script reflects things that the um, game design wasn't quite able to pull off. Hmm. And this is an example of, like, I think from the script writer's perspective, we were sitting Like on straddling. The horse. Yeah. yeah. You look around. The strike breakers are still shouting their slogans and waving their hand-painted signs. Beneath you, the lieutenant and the programmer 
have begun disconnecting a few cables. There's really no mm -hmm. point. You're beginning to feel like the little child <laughs> who refuses to come okay, down. Okay, we failed in something. <laughs> Let's climb down. Good. Now give me a hand with these amplifiers. Leave the cables. I don't feel like making two trips. Okay. <sighs> What's one more trip across the water lock? True. <laughs> I mean, we can teleport. Well, this was an interesting collaboration. Yeah, it sure fucking was. Ooh. All right. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad we didn't get disappeared this time. We made a pretty good team, Suna. Sona? Perhaps. You're more reliable than the writers I used to work with. <laughs> Though, that is not a difficult part to clear. In any event, just leave that equipment here. I'll put it away later. If you'd like, you can take one of the extra headsets. I don't need to. <gasps> yes, we will. Yeah, more stuff. Now you'll excuse me. I have to get back to my own work. Wow. Oh my gosh, take that headset while we remember. Is it lit up? I think it's possibly given it to us automatically. Is it new? No. No? What's, what's to the, if you highlight to the right, what's that box to the right? Oh yeah. Yes. Nice. Ooh. <gasps> Inland Empire, was it Inland, Inland Empire? And reaction nice. speed. Minus an reaction speed though. Let's, let's put that on. Nice. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. No, I love it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hang on, let me go outside. I, I just feel like. Away from the. The noise, yeah. The anodic dance music. Um. That was a lot. Does Kim have anything to say at this point? Can we have a quick chat and see if he, well, he normally he, does? When yeah. he has stuff to say, he lights up. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I just wanted to check. What are your thoughts after all that, Izza? Um, I mean, we knew that the, the hole in the world was there. I mean, we found it and we believe it. I always wanted, you know, I'm hesitating because you kind of wonder like how much of it is Harry and how much of it is real, right? But everybody else reacted to it. So That's everybody right. else definitely knows about it. To some extent, but it seems really real when we talk to the coalition about it. Yeah, I'm still um, listening. I just wanted us to have a cooler outfit on. And I don't know. I don't think we... It sort of feels like throwing some information into the void and they're not really going to do anything with it. I'm not sure what we thought they were going to do with it. I guess one possible outcome that was in my mind was that they would send some scientists here to investigate. Ah. But it sounded like from the way she reacted and the way we were then disappeared in one version of reality, um, they know about them and they're trying to hide that information. Mm. Right? Yeah. And in that case, maybe they know that nothing can be done about them. They're just like, well, fuck. At some point, the world will be swallowed by the pale. Build a church around it. Yeah. Dance Good around luck. It. <laughs> Don't play it too loudly through speakers. So what do you think? I thought that was all super interesting. Um, I was surprised that there was a way to end the game. That wasn't us dying and left the case unsolved. Mm. I didn't know that was going to be possible. Poor Kim would be devastated, but he wouldn't. He'd just be like, well, that's that's life sometimes. That's Harry sometimes. Um, he just fucks off. I've known him for a week. Yeah. But in his heart of hearts, he'd be de devastated, I think. Yeah. Um... We've passed, what What I do think is interesting about all that is that we have passed on that we think this place is a powder keg. And if we are right and this does explode into a massive gunfight, it may mean that there are more, there's more help with that? Well, see, I do, I wonder, I wonder um, how much they help and how much they just watch. Mm, great questions. Whether they would do anything about it at all. But they care, I presume, that democracy is allowed to continue to 
develop. I don't know that they do. I feel like they they, they like the concept of democracy but don't really care for the implementation mm, of it. You might be right. Um, they are actually quite happy being in control of everything. Yep, that's what I think. Maximum control, minimal um, uh, accountability. But because with... like they're like, oh, we're not the real government. We're the inter the um, what's the word for it? Like interim interim government. Uh, yeah, but, but we with... still have all the power. We have the power and the veneer of do good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't even provide the police force because they're a militia. Mm. It's just a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're probably right. It was really interesting hearing her describe different parts mm. of the Isola and how different parts of it are so much more nice. <laughs> we know yeah. that hair has been intentionally left um, ravished as kind of a punishment, as a kind of. Mm. Yeah. It's like a... See how bad things can get. Yes. Yeah. Don't forget that people are capable of lining up the populace and shooting them against a wall. Yeah. Ooh! Would love to hear what you guys of the internet think about all of that. Did any of you get... Well, actually, don't tell us that. I was going to say, did any of you get like, wildly different outcomes than us? Oh, because we... who knows what will happen in playthrough two. So. But the classic question, I'm, I'm deeply curious, and people do tell us, so I, I love to ask this, but just like, what, what at this point in the game were you thinking? Were you thinking? Yeah. Did you expect any of that? Did you interpret it differently to what we did? What did you think that taking on La Responsabilité actually meant? Yeah, what did you think it was going to do? Yeah. I love, can, I, I don't know if I've included the audio because I will have been clipping little bits that we're, we're repeating a bit, but thank you so much that none of you spoiled this. Like we had absolutely no idea going into that. I So what did what you expect? That? I genuinely had no idea. I, as I say, I thought they might've talked about the pale. I wasn't really expecting him to talk about the powder keg situation because I don't really know what he thinks they're going to do about it. I, if anything, I think we should be calling in more backup from the RCM. I sort of thought... I thought we would tell them a bunch of stuff. They would go, mm-hmm. And then maybe give us a little bit of information, like a story, a bit of world building. Yeah. Which obviously we did get, and that would be it. Right. I mean, I know I said before, we don't know what Harry's going to say because we don't. Yeah. He's off the wall sometimes. But, um, yeah, I sort of thought it wouldn't really... It would. It was more world-building, I thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I thought that it would be at most like a... We're passing on the responsibility of the investigation of the pale. Yeah. And it's like, we've told somebody, so now it's off our chest. Well, fucking good luck with that. Yeah. Yeah. Far out. Well, it's hailing. Or raining, at least. Yeah. Um, definitely didn't think that we'd get spirited away. <laughs> oh, pretty fucking grim. Yeah, so thank you again. None of you spoiled that. We just, the only thing that you guys had said last week was you must make sure you, you, you call the coalition. Oh, I also want to know if anyone Love else that. got surprised by that. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm, I'm quite tired. So I suggest yep. friends. Um, get yourself, uh, if you drink caffeine, get a caffeinated beverage of your choice. Unless it's uh, also 10 p.m. at night where you are. Unless you want to. I'm just saying, your night ahead could be Vol alert. You're getting a, vol <laughs> a volition success. You've got your own volition to decide whether you're going to... Everyone's free to make bad decisions. ...have caffeine <laughs> at this point in your evening. Um, so caffeinated beverage if it suits, and we'll catch you next time. See you then, everybody! Bye.